Buckle up, because I am about to turn your world upside down. We have another batch of JPL transfers coming your way, starting with perhaps the most shocking one yet. Welcome back to Jumpyall Fan, and as stated, we are all about telling you about the latest on the transfer market, but before we begin, I must give a special shout out to Bond Sports TV for their hard work in bringing these transfers to our doorsteps. Please give them a follow on Instagram and YouTube. Alright, let's get back to the show. Shocking news, Reggae Boys defender 25 year old Kyle Ming joins more plays in the Football Academy from JPL Champions Cavalier SC on a permanent transfer for undisclosed fee. This is certainly one of the biggest transfer shocker in the JPL this season so far and this was keenly negotiated however in the end all parties got the deal over the line. Ming has represented Cavalier 153 times in joining in 2018, has won the JPL title twice and has been to three finals and also played in the CONCACAF Champions League last season with the Duncan Destroyers. He was also the captain of the team at one stage and a very important part of the Cavalier defense during the time of Rudy Speed coaching the team. Yeah, honestly by far one of the biggest transfers since well Alex Marshall going to more pleasant is the fact that Kyle Ming will be leaving the defending champions and going to their closest foes. We did hear some bit of rumblings in the Cavalier camp but no one would expect that would cause them to leave their one of their best defenders to go all the way up north. So how will this affect that pristine backline of Cavaliers, especially right before a crucial Caribbean Cup encounter with Mo Pleasant? Interesting. Alright, Mo Pleasant big deals never stop there as they also acquired 23 year old reggae boy central defensive midfielder Joshan Anglin on a permanent transfer from Harborview FC for undisclosed fee. Anglin was representing the 5 time Premier League champions 85 times recording 5 goals and 1 assist. He also had a small stint in the USL Championship with Miami FC where he made 15 appearances for the American club. Yes, another major move, probably the third or fourth biggest one of the summer all going to Mount Pleasant. Anglin I believe is one of the best or if some people believe the best central defensive midfielder in this league and to see him leave a struggling Harvey team to go to one of the best teams in the country is major surprising. Unlike this transfer of Ming, I felt that Anglin is a much needed person for Mount Pleasant since they lack depth in that central defensive midfield position. So this is a good move I feel for more pleasant. Okay moving on, Cavalier weren't to be denied any incomings of their own as Trinidad and Tobago national midfielder 20 year old Kylie Avery joins Cavaliers FC from more pleasant on a permanent transfer for you guessed it, an undisclosed fee. Avery joined St. Anne Bay's club last season from the MLS Academy Kansas City and made only 9 appearances without scoring any goals. Yeah, so a very talented youngster, I, I believe I was very um, high on hopes for him when he was coming into the league last year. He didn't get much playing time on the top of Whitmore, but I believe the talent is there. No, Cavalier, I think was a shrewd business they do here. It would help with that forward line, as you know they like to play with paces strikers, so he would definitely have a role to play with them. Okay, newly promoted team Chapter Maroons are in the transfer market for the first time this season. They have acquired former national midfielder Andrew Vanzi from Homeland FC on a permanent transfer for undisclosed fee. Vanzi is an experienced player in our league where he has played 134 games, recorded 26 goals as well as 5 games in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. He is widely regarded as one of the best CDMs in the league for a few seasons and will be a key figure to Chapter Maroons as they look to be competitive in this season JPL. Alright, so the one of the new boys finally makes some moves in the transfer market um, quietly. This one has been around for a while with this awaited official confirmation and it seems to finally be there. Vansi, I feel is one of those better players that Humberland had last season. And so to see them give him up, it would be interesting to say, oh, you know, again, we wish we knew the fees, but we don't know how that one shake out. But he would definitely bring some steel and experience to that. Captain Maroons midfield and more of these kind of moves are needed if they want to stay up in the league this season. Alright, we're moving on to the four times JPL champions Montego Bay United has signed Jamaican born midfielder Dylan Zane to their roster for the 2024-2025 Jamaican Premier League season. Zane will be making his debut in the JPL this season, however, prior to that he played for Connecticut 
College in the NCAA Division 3 competition where he played 37 games and recorded 3 goals. Alright, so I don't know much about Zane um, as a player of course, but you know Moby is making some moves and based on his track record in the college system, he seems that he's a decent player. So Moby flashing some cash to go with the new Argentine coach. Okay, speaking of Mobe, there will be more Caribbean players in the JPL this season as 22 years old defender Jordan Brito joins Montego Bay United FC and a prominent transfer from Antiguan Premier League club Grenades FC. Brito is a former Trinidad U17 player and recently represented Grenades who went to the CONCACAF Caribbean Shield Finals where they lost in the finals to Jamaica's Arnegans FC. They have qualified for the CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championships where they will compete in Group B. All I can say about this one is that that Grenades team was a surprise package in the Shield and even in the final against Arnett you could see that they have some very decent players and I was actually hoping that some of the JPL teams were paying attention. It seemed that Mobe was one of those teams and they picked up a very good defender on their books. Alright moving on more signings, more signings for Philip Williams project as 27 year old attacking midfielder Donovan Segri joins Dumbo Holland FC for Mount Pleasant on a free transfer. Segri joined the St. Catherine based club on loan last season and had decided to make the move permanent since his contract with Mount Pleasant has ended. Segri is an experienced player locally where he has played 69 JPL matches recording 5 goals and 6 assists so far. He also made 4 appearances in the CONCACAF Caribbean club championship last season. The player represented Cavalier and Arnett locally as well as the United States of Cincinnati at the college level in the United States. Uh, to be honest, Segri is a player that while you know been around for a while, never exactly stood out to me, but clearly Philip Williams sees something in him that he needs for his project and you know he won't take much time to settle down since he was there last year. So maybe another shrewd move came on a free. Dumbo Holland didn't stop there as coach Philip Williams continues his project with 22 year old attacker Nakil Wright as he joined on loan from Tivoli Guns. Wright is a talented attacking player who has represented Tivoli Guns in 44 times in the nation's top flight and recorded 4 goals in the process. Alright, uh, another interesting one here is you know, again, Philip Williams is used to working with the youth. As you can see that our former team is very youthful last year, so another smart move this can end up turn out to be. But the bigger question is that Tivoli lose another player. So yeah, they sent him on loan and while he didn't exactly play in the most games last year, is that Tivoli is looking kind of thin in their squad and it seems that they're not bringing anybody yet. So again, we're more interested to see what Tivoli does in this transfer market. Alright, before we end out, back to more pleasant as they acquired 25 year old Pandemanian midfielder Jantan Sesena and a permanent transfer from Club Deportita Areba Unido from Panama First Division. Sesena played 81 professional games recording 13 goals and 1 assist. Prior to joining more pleasant FA, he also represented the likes of Mexican club Atlante as well as played in Colombia, Portugal and Spain. He has also represented Panama professional clubs Independiente, Alianzianze, FC and Plaza Amado. Alright, so this was the Panama player big guys I've been kind of hinting at in my previous updates for a while. He's been there since the start of the summer and his move is now official. Not much is known about him for me personally except that he's a very good technician in the midfield. So I expect him to play centrally or out right on the right wing and he apparently has a killer cross in his foot. So look out for that as more pleasant again bolts their attack going forward. Alright, moving on again, former Lime All Academy captain central defender Damani Swell joins fight and JPL winners half of UFC on a permanent transfer for undisclosed fee. Sewell played 23 times for Lime Hall last season and was seen as one of the standout players for the club that and won a few Man of the Match awards in the season pass. Yeah, honestly, despite Lime Hall having one of the worst defensive records you probably find anywhere professionally last year, honestly, not much blame could be put on the money. So, well, who I felt was a decent player for them last year and tried his best and kind of went a bit wayward in his play when he lost his defensive partner, Kevin Graham, halfway through the season. I felt if that partnership stayed, their record would be much better. 
But it was on the breaks, and now he's now getting a big chance to partner Guard Stewart at Harbour View. Okay, so that's a lot of intro trading and movement going on in the league. But what about some outgoings? As Rivaldo Mitchell joins North Macedonia Club FC Robo Nectic from Watos FC on a permanent transfer and an undisclosed fee. The player has signed a three year contract with the club. The former Jamaican U17 player had his best team in the JPL last season, recording five goals. 8 assists in 23 games. Mitchell previously represented JPL clubs Arborview, Cavaliers, Former United, Milan's United, and Arnegans FC locally. Last season, FC Robonectic ended the 12th team league in 8th position on 37 points and recorded 11 wins, 4 draws, 15 defeats, while scoring 37 goals and conceding 48. So he's not going to def the defending champions or anything like that, so maybe a bit less pressure will be on his case. But this is a big move for Rivaldo after Javi and Brian also left the Jamaica for overseas. And honestly, he probably deserved of his breakup performances last year. But he's also a bit damning for us as fans. So I think he's one of the better, he's one of the better 1v1 attackers in the league. And see him leaving when he was on such good form. This seemed well bad for us as fans. But again, congratulations to Mitchell. You deserve it. And hopefully you did well overseas. Okay, so we do have one managerial change to talk about before we wrap up. O'Neill Bigger Thompson will be the new coach in charge of the returning Premier League club Trapton Maroons this season. Thompson has an impressive career as a player representing the likes of Hereford United, Barnsley FC, Burton Albion in England as well as Norwegian club Norton FK. Locally Thompson also represented Boystone FC, Homer Lion as well as Arne Gans which he captained and won multiple titles. Locally, Thompson has coached at Humberland FC in the JPL as well as Calabar High School in the Manning Cup as an assistant to Andrew Price. This will be his first coaching stint as a head coach in the JPL. He had recently completed his Concord B licensing coaching certification, which makes him eligible to coach in the nation's top flight. Yeah, and again, another well-known player, a well-known well name around the JPL obviously if you've been a fan for some years and as well as you know you kind of get the impression that all his years with Andrew Price he was being quote-unquote coached into that top position really so it's good to see he get his opportunity here he's sticking in Clarendon which he knows the Clarendon seems well but people will probably say it's a bit risky to give somebody inexperienced as a first time back in the league the chapter would not want to go down again so this will be interesting to see how how they work it all out but we wish him best of luck and we'll see if he has the chops to make his a name as a coach in the league late breaking news to this recording as mount pleasant has also added former cavalier captain gedale irving to their roster big big news all right i need a vacation after this one that's all we got on this jpl offseason update I expect more news on the way soon as there remain many days left in the transfer window. Again, will Tivoli do anything? Is Malines finish or is more pleasant finish? So a lot to look forward to. So people please like, subscribe and share as we look to keep you up to date on all things in the Jamaican transfer market during the off season of the JPL. Otherwise keep a look at the right place for JPL content, Champion Fan. YouTube, once again, big up yourself.